are some latest knowledge in the physiopathology of acne, uh, namely the receptors on the sebocytes. And we know now that there are receptors not only to dehydrotestosterone, but also for some other uh, agents, including insulin-like growth factor 1. And this is a very good link uh, for the diet in acne. And it has been demonstrated that the hyperglycemic diet and also the milk and dairy products consumption may uh, act uh, on the acne flares. And from this point of view, it is, you know, so-called exposome, one of the factors which are uh, acting on the patients from outside. And from this point of view, it's uh, uh, very necessary uh, to, to learn from the patient while managing a patient about his nutrition and maybe among the individuals with a high body mass, with the insulin resistance, we have to prescribe the diet, hypercaloric diet and the restriction of milk. Uh, from another side, uh, there are some new findings uh, showing that it may be the adjunctive treatment, for example, metformin treatment or even simvestin treatment. There are uh, beautiful, good papers uh, demonstrating uh, that the patients with an impaired metabolic profile uh, may have not only a diet but these medications and they diminish the systemic inflammation and thus acting on acne. The latest news is that uh, very soon we'll uh, face with a new uh, topical retinoid. Uh, it is called Trifurotan. It is a very selective retinoid aimed on the uh, gamma ARL receptors and its selectivity is very high. And the first in vivo and in vitro studies have demonstrated its potency from one side, uh, but safety from another side. And there are few clinical studies uh, showing its comedolytic and inflammatory effect and even depigmentating effect, which may be very interesting in the future acne treatment.